Hey guys, welcome back to Bill and Chill Gaming. I'm Bill, and with me playing more of The Last of Us, the PS4 remaster, is Mike. Hello. And uh, yeah, a lot just happened. <laughs> um, our recording equipment fried right as something bad happened to Joel's tummy. And I don't know anything except now we're playing as Ellie, who just shot a bunny. We're going after a deer. It's winter time. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I don't want to jinx it, but we did just hit 1,000 subscribers. Um, so thank you guys so much for that. Everyone who's watching, hanging out in the premiere chat, watching in your own time. Everyone who's liking, clicking, subbing. Don't forget to do those things. Share it around with your friends. Um, currently, uh, we hit 1,000 like three times. So I, I don't want to jinx it, but I do also want to say thank you. And um, yeah, hopefully YouTube deems me worthy of partner a second time still waiting to hear back on that and it's probably gonna take a while because 2020 anyway oh yeah we're playing as that's right because that scared the crap out of me as like my all my equipment's going everything's about to fail and i'm like why aren't you joel so this is nice and scary yeah but winter time though no you know i hate the winter time Happy holidays. Crap is bad. It really does. Like, I have such a bad relationship with the holiday season. And I, I try my best. I really do to, like, you know, I'm always the kind of person that as long as everyone's being chill and respectful to each other and themselves, I'm like, yeah, if you enjoy the holidays, please, by all means, go enjoy whichever holiday you choose. But, yeah, they're not fun for me. And, um... Oh, uh, were you cutting corners? I think I did. I think he went or they. Yeah. But uh, reason why I brought up the holidays, um, for those of you watching before Thanksgiving of 2020, um, the finale, if everything goes according to plan, the finale will be Thursday, Thanksgiving Thursday, and I'll be doing the live premiere still on Thursday, just in case someone needs it. Uh, I know the holidays, especially now, are a hard time, but also are just a hard time already in general for other people, like I said, myself included. And um, I always try to like drop some extra content here and there, just in case somebody needs it, mm -hmm. you know? So this is something that actually blew my mind when I was playing this the first time in 2012. You're actually tracking this deer, like following Oh, that's cool. Steps. Like, I was like, what? Are they not already in the snow when we start? Is it like, this is just this... where the model runs to? Yeah, like, it, like after playing this multiple times, it, it has its own path, but the fact that it's like, you have to, like, it runs so fast, you're still following it. Like, holy crap, that's crazy. That's crazy. And you also can't spook it. <laughs> I'm just thinking of The Simpsons. We're big, which you mountain lions find terrifying. <laughs> Nice. Thanks. But also, oh no, the animal. But this is also it's survival. Yeah, fittest. this is a survival this purpose. Is... I that is something I I will give credence to is when we run out of other options, mm -hmm. go for it. Like yeah. I I'm not a vegan or a vegetarian by any means, but I do try to limit my amount of animal products in a week. Like I try to do like fifty fifty meals. Some of them being meatless and some of them being completely vegan and some of them just being whatever because, you know, money and yummy. Yeah. But, like, I try my best from a carbon footprint standpoint. I think that's I think that helps my brain a lot more than just, like, stressing out about, like, well, how many animals have I consumed before Steady. making that change? And I think thinking of it as a progression for... Uh, like footprint purposes i think it helps me kind of curb back on my animal products yeah but then alternatively i also can't do almonds because almonds aren't good for the environment the way that we grow them it takes up too much resources yeah oat milk's good i like that oat milk and coconut milk however coconut milk has a uh, very limited usefulness because uh, i do not recommend making mac and cheese with coconut milk it's gross no i oof. it's not fun <laughs> Nobody has a good time, including the mac and cheese. Nope. But yeah, after about a year or so of not having, like, cow's milk, now it, like, creeps me out. 
like when i was a kid like i never really noticed like that kind of uh-huh. mucusy thing or that like film you get in your yeah. mouth now like i had a glass of milk like last year when i was on like a business trip like a continental breakfast thing back when i had a job and um oh, man. i had a glass of milk and i just went oh my life is over now why why does it feel like i'm being suffocated and i realized i haven't had mm-hmm. cow's milk in so long yeah yeah when i was a kid like you're you're told drink a glass of milk it's good for you it's good for the bones and thinking i'll always drink a glass of milk i love it and i always thought people who didn't drink milk were the weird ones but now i'm at a point where i'm like no i don't need this i mean you know you're always gonna be especially when we're not even 30 yet like there's at least like 30 to 40 percent of your life where you just trusted grown-ups this is true you know what i mean so i think that kind of falls under that category of you know other people drinking cow's milk are weird because my grown-ups said drink it every day and now when you get older it's like why do we do that Mm -hmm. you know it's called critical thinking skills yep learn more about the body what it needs and we're like yeah well also um i i think i don't know because i haven't like really gotten like an allergy test in a while but apparently for a while i've had like a very mild lactose intolerance like i just i just have a different level of flatulence and pooping Mm -hmm. consistency welcome to bill and chill game yeah we talk about this but it was so mild that like the doctor was like you're fine and i was like oh okay but i should still like back off from it a little bit and that's when i stopped drinking cow's milk so much I thought that was really interesting that, like, you know, it wasn't so overwhelming that it, like, wasn't necessary change, but it was still, like, a mild thing. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, great. Everything's cool. This place is not creepy at all. It's creepy once you say it's creepy, Ellie. I was doing just fine (laughs) until you mentioned that. Awesome. This time she found her own comic. Oh, she's finding her own comic mm-hmm. books. Look at her go. Look at her go. Okay. So how long am I going to be in agony about what happened to Joel? Uh-huh. Oh. Thanks, bud. Yeah, you're welcome. Anyway. <laughs> Ellie wakes up from her, her, uh, her hallucination and she shot Joel with a bunch of arrows. Oh, jeez. Who's there? Come out! Hello? Ugh. We just want to talk. We? Any sudden moves and I put one right between your eyes. Ditto for Buddy Boy over there. What do you want? Name's David. This here's my friend James. Fake names. We're from a larger group. Women, children. We're all very, very hungry. So am I. Women and children. All very hungry, too. Well, uh, maybe we could uh, trade you for some of that meat there. What do you need? Weapons, ammo, clothes. Medicine. You have any antibiotics? Oh, okay. So he's okay, ish. Back at the camp. Ellie, no. You're welcome to follow us. I'm back. not following you anywhere. Oh, good. Well, yes. Can go get it. If he comes back with what I need. The deer is all yours. If anyone else shows up... You put one right between my eyes. That's right. Two bottles of the penicillin in a syringe. Make it fast. Go on. I'll take that rifle. Of course. Back up. Oh, we did a good job. We made the right choices. <laughs> the deer's like, um, can I go? Do you, do you need you, uh, anything? Mind if we take some shelter from the cold? It's cold out here. Bring him with us. Yeah. You know, you really.
really shouldn't be out here all on your own. I don't like company. Oh no. What's your name? Why? You, that's my name. I understand it's not easy to trust a couple of strangers. Whoever's heard, you clearly care about them. Oh. I'm sure, it's gonna be just fine. Shut up, bud. That's my job. What's she clearly that? cares about Joel because she's asking for this. <laughs> That's brilliant. You had another gun? Sorry. Hey, I'd really like my rifle back now. No, you have your pistol. Hope you know how to use that thing. I've had some practice. Damn. No matter what, we have to keep them out. All right. So. Ooh, a new weapon. Uh. This is fun. I really like that though, because I I fell for it. I completely forgot about the mm -hmm. the zombies. I was just like, oh, we're in the apocalypse. Ooh, don't trust the strangers. Oh no, safety. What happened to Joel? I forgot all about zombies. That was Chef's kiss. I was about to do it and realize you can't see me. Oh. Gotcha. <sighs> Making her look bad. I know. Making her look bad in front of Nathan Drake. Is that Nathan Drake? That's the voice actor for Nathan Drake. He's just doing a really good job throwing his voice to his friend. <laughs> I mean, I've never played any of the Uncharted is yeah. Nathan Drake. Yeah, I've never played those. Can you also shoot the stranger? Eh, nah. He's effectively your buddy at this point. Okay. Oh, oh god. Um, can he not shoot the gun so close to, to her face? You know? No. 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 Damn it. She's immune to bites. She's not immune to nerve damage. Uh, oh, can you not get bit? Yeah, you can't get bit. Oh, that's silly. But I guess then it would activate a bunch of cutscenes of, oh, no, I should kill you. Yeah. This isn't Life is Strange. Oh, you, what the? Oh, man. At least she has unlimited knife. Right, and yeah, the knife is super effective. You, you moved out of my way. Oh my. They, they moved out of my way. Maybe if there were more hints that popped up every time you died, maybe you wouldn't die so much. That's what I'm saying. Over here. <laughs> Breathe air, drink the water. The Hydration time. reminder: drink yeah, water. Come on. Again, there's something really jarring about the fact that they scream. Eh, I'm indifferent about what happens to you right now. Alright. There we go. For all I know, two, uh, two bottles of penicillin and a syringe is code for release the cage of zombies to kill this kid. You know? I don't trust him. Yeah. Oh, Lord have mercy. It looked like he legitimately pointed the gun at you. I'm like, I told you not to trust him. Come on, June. June. Michael, in the, in the crotch, you know. <laughs> that zombie disappeared. <laughs> it noped right out <laughs> of there. It just went, nope. It went through a secret portal. Secret dungeon. You paid me for one death, you get one death. Was that an Atla reference? A what? <laughs> Secret tunnel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good job. Thanks. Ah! Come on, Ellie, run. Bedroom. Bedroom. Oh, Lord. Ah, no. Cover the stairs with what? Cover the stairs with what? Paint? 
marbles, then they would all do pratfalls. <laughs> this is Home Alone. Okay. That's a game I would play, Home Alone, but with zombies, you have to set little, little traps. Yeah. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeah, this part, I just remembered. Here we, here we, here we, here we go. This way. Here we go. I forgot the beginning of the DK rap, and I'm embarrassed now. I used to know the whole thing. Stay close. Come on. Oh, oh, geez. Hey, kid, you all right? I'm fine. More flickers. Get out of there! This makes me sad. Oh, she doesn't have the same upgrades as you, does she? Nah. Oops. Your oh. magic pills didn't carry over? Nah. Oh, God. Ooh, a brick. Dang it. Are, do you get one-shotted by zombies? You, well, by uh, clickers, yeah. They are uber strong. And... But see, they're not supposed to see you, so that kind of bothers me. I think when you were running, it just heard you and it was super close. Yeah. Also, how proud is she going to make me with that brick? She takes after her surrogate father in that way. Oh, you bet. There we go. Thank you. Lord have oh mercy. Oh my god. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> this is why we teach you about the safety circle. Yeah. Whenever someone's holding a knife. They need a bell. That's what they needed. <laughs> Wouldn't it then chase itself because it would keep hearing the bell? Again. <laughs> Zombies have a bell. I remember um, when I got my puppy, I was like six or seven years old. His name was Max. I remember we first, like, you know, once he got a little bigger, we put his collar on for the first time, and the tag kept clinging against the dish, and it would scare him. So I had to, like, feed him by hand, because uh. he got too scared of his dish. Grab a brick. We're safe now. But the dark thoughts will soon return. I need to make my way. See, here's where you and I differ is I would see all these bricks on the floor as an opportunity to just keep using bricks. Yeah. You know? Since you there's more there's another one to pick up, I would use a brick here instead of a arrow. Does it not? Oh, it stuns him so you could. Yeah. Okay. I thought it was an insta kill. Nah, it's a, it's a stun. But the problem is now this guy. You. Yeah. That's on you. No, it's not. Yes, it is. You threw the brick and it didn't work. <laughs> Throw bricks better. I'm over here. Oh, there but we I've go. Been, I've been resisting the urge every time a zombie grabs you to go choke me like you hate <laughs> me. Got him. I don't want to say anything to spoil the video. Everyone should check it out. But uh, Here you are. I didn't have a bad time. Oh, nice. No, you know me. As soon as someone talk, says, choke me, and I'm like, I'm there. I'm <laughs> Warehouses, right? Crazy times. Come here, wake me up. No, that's a you and Joel thing. <laughs> <sighs> but I'm not gonna watch. I'm not gonna watch. Yeah. Not as effective, I see. Nope. You be quick. Keep a lookout. Oh, wait. I know. 
Yeah, don't tell her what to do. She's been doing just fine. Yeah. You. Yeah. How about you tell Ellie if you need any tips or advice, such as look out. Oh, that great. Also, haven't they decayed by now? Or is it just not that kind of thing? It's not that kind of thing. Oh, buddy. Hey, I you got a tip, it. though. I pressed buy it. Buy yourself time to bind wounds. I pressed it. I have a brick, too. That's okay. Yeah, it's not as visceral for me as it is when you throw it at a person. No. <laughs> it's, it's very much just like, uh, yeah, that's what, you know, that's... Huh. I didn't think that's what it would sound like when you hit a fictitious creature with a brick. <laughs> Run back. Got brick. There's another one somewhere. Oh, yeah. I don't know where the thing. So there was one... Wow. Here you go. I guess we'll call this a 98% run now. I'm calling it a 99. For which? <laughs> it's a running joke in the chat that I 100% no scope my uh, pro gamer yeah. runs, and everyone's like, are we still doing the 100% uh, no death run? And I'm like, Mike's playing, so it's a 99%. Yeah. We'll call it a 98% then. Ew, it sounds like a wounded animal. Yeah, I'm not a fan of those ones. Jeez. Looks like someone uh, howling ones. Out. Are they... Nah, it's just a... Different? Nah. Doesn't matter. Grab the gear. And we'll look for an exit. Uh, wait, no, 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 no. I want... Okay, so I have a couple of you. Great. Let me grab this. And then I want to use on. Make a med kit. So we got two of those. I'm glad we taught her first aid and crafts. You know, started with macaroni and, you know, noodle art and made her way up to Molotovs and nail bombs. So what do we do? Do I have a choice? You think I missed this party? You think I missed this party? Oh, there we go. Some more ammo. Great. Where are they coming from? Get ready. Yeah. Oh, okay. Nice. Thank you. Eh. Well, I got the one behind them. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Sounds crazy, no? But here in our little town of Vanatevka, you may say every one of us is a clicker on the okay. roof. Every single one of us. No, sir. You got this. You're totally fine. What? Knife. You. Well, now it's on fire. Yep. They're fine. Who said forgive them, Lord? Uh, that's an excellent question. Was that the dude being ah! attacked? Oh, my. Showed up from behind. Oh, yeah, like 70% run here. Like... Oh, I'm glad my grandpa's not around to see that. Moulin Rouge is trending. He hated that movie. And I never figured out why. Oh, Lord. Because he wasn't one to, like, not like something. Like, I think he always could find merit in things, but he just... He literally, like, called the movie silly, and all of us were, like, so bothered by it because he never says anything negative. Right. 
Or never said anything negative. Yeah, he was a positive person. Yeah. Sure. Like, y'all think I'm, like, a supportive, positive person, like... Okay. We're doing fine. Are we? Stay focused. We'll make sure. I'm just limping, don't mind me. Oh, do they not explode till someone touches them? Yeah, it's like a motion one. Oh, uh, okay. okay. Let's make another one of these. And use one. And use it for sure. Okay. Nope. Brick. Gotcha. Wait, another brick. It's really creepy how casually she just knifed that thing in the face. Right? Ew. <laughs> oh. oh my. <laughs> That's not fair. <laughs> That's straight up just not fair. <laughs> oh my. Oh. Oh, at least. Oh, is he in medical distress? Yeah. Good. Every single time you die was a time where he did not save you. Oh, of course, and it did. Oh, it saved none of anything. Oh, is it a gym teacher? Yep, yeah, it's a gym teacher. They still have those out here? Oh, Mike. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. That works. I'll take it. Or not. <clears throat> I just became overwhelmed with everything. Stress? Yeah. Gave you your health back this time, though, at least. At least it felt bad for you. Yeah. That just showed up out of nowhere. Yeah. It literally spawned in front of you and smacked your face. Oh, Lord of mercy. Thank you. Oh, that was literally the dude. I thought that was a zombie just standing there. I'm like, what are we doing? There's Jim? another one right there. Not, not in the mood, not in the mood. Okay, God, give me time, give me time. Go, 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 go. Or not. That's fine. I feel like they <sighs> weren't allowed to say uh, boomer there. Yeah, right? It's very close. Did I do it? Did it happen? Are we done? Is it over? It ends tonight, Smith. <laughs> You're done. <laughs> I think about that after the <laughs> big. Oh, yep. See. Is this chilling down there? And I can pick him up though. That's so good. <laughs> there you go. That's helpful. It's, it's nail soup. That sounds really gross. I instantly thought fingernails. Ew. Ew. What? I said it was gross. I'm not a role model, Mike. You're an I'm influencer. <laughs> I don't think I'm that either. Listen. No one's victim. I feel like I'm still a YouTube minor league hopeful. Let's head in. Oh. All right. Let's head on back. Check on that buck of ours. <sighs> well, you handled yourself pretty nice back there. Uh-huh. I'd say we make a pretty good team. Back off, bud. We got lucky. Lucky? No, no. No such thing as luck. Now, you see, I believe that everything happens for a reason. Sure. I do. Wow. And I can prove it to you. This winter. Well, it's been especially cruel. Yes. A few weeks back, I uh, sent a group of men out a nearby town to look for food. Only a few came back. They said that the others had been uh, slaughtered by a crazy man. 
get this. He's a crazy man traveling with a little girl. Oh, sh I was going to make the joke. He looked like a sad, sexy dad. Everything happens for a reason. Uh, don't get upset, but it's not your fault. James, lower the gun. No way, David. I knew not it. Gonna let her lower go. the gun. Now give her the medicine. The others won't be happy about this. Yeah, well, that's not your concern. Smoke bomb. Move the fuck out of the way. Won't survive long out there. I can't protect you. Oh, thanks. That was spooky. Mm hmm. Is your horse okay? It's been a minute. Yeah, he's good. Thank good. Let's get out of here. Oh god, the bunny. <laughs> oh yeah. It looks like a freaking hood ornament. <laughs> or like the end of Toy Story 3, like the mm, the toys like the lots of, yeah. yeah. Attached to the truck. Yeah. Yeah. I mean kind of proved the game proved its own point there where it's like you went after the deer, it came back with still the bunny, but also medicine. Mm-hmm. Oh, thank God. I only managed to get a little bit of food. But I did get this. Oh, God. Did she know how to... I wouldn't know what to do here. God, this kid's a badass. Right? Here we go. Here we go. Sorry. Do, 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 do. <laughs> well done. That's it. You're gonna make it. Oh, this makes me really sad. <laughs> Bet you feel like a real asshole for not letting her sleep on the couch now. We we helped raise a good kid. Yeah. Yep. I'm gonna draw them away from here. I'll come back for you. Holy crap. I mean, I feel like they would have them be able to get back up at some point. Right? Like, they wouldn't just... Joel, like, they wouldn't just oh. draw this out. If they wanted him dead, this chapter would have started with him dead. Mm. That's what I have to hold on to right now. <laughs> Oh, did the nice man say not to shoot the child? Uh, I mean, also don't shoot children, but like, just don't shoot anybody, please. Oh! Ew! Bye! I just felt like that added, but David said not to. It's like, um. With the information you had, the plan was still kill a sick person out of revenge because he killed our people who attacked him. Right? Because that's what they're saying. Uh, 
a group of people went out for food and yeah they were one of the people we got because we didn't like wrong anybody you know it wasn't like we snuck up on a family singing songs and killed them all in their sleep for their sleeping bags like so ugh. The way I see it is, oh no, Joel killed. Can you put the horse out of its misery? No, it's, it's gone. Right there, Great. The horse. Oh. oh, I'm sorry, Michael. I screwed up your stealthy because then they went look and she goes. It's fine. Jump. The way I see it, like, Joel effectively killed this per Like, he had a community of people and he's like, he sent them out to like get food and stuff. And Joel, as far as he knows, like, killed them. So they're just acting on, like, their survival instinct of, like, like, hey, there's a guy out there, like, killing people. Granted, you shouldn't go for revenge in an apocalypse. Or ever. But or ever. <laughs> yeah. I just, I just find that flawed logic, even when they try to introduce that notion of, like, oh, but he said not to hurt the kid. And he sure. was like, see, I told them not to hurt, like, we can protect you, kid. It's like, I don't think you're good people, is what I'm saying. Mm. Like, you know? Yeah. Sitting there talking about everything happening for a reason, and it's like, you know he's sick now. And she just also helped you, and also totally could have just killed both of you and didn't. And you're gonna, like, follow her to get your vengeance on the sick man who you believe wronged you, when in reality, if you had a group of men killed by one dude... Like, I don't know. I understand it's story and everything, but... Well, this is just not fair. <laughs> this is a bunch of grown-ups. Well, I mean, you're a ninja survivalist kid. Like, you got this. Oh, okay. Violent. Oh, did you get a shotgun? I did. Oh, wait, I, there we go. There we go. I got it. Cool, 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 cool. Nope, nope. Let me put the backpack back on. Thank you. Now is not the time to show me your drawings. Medallion. <laughs> Thing. One more firefly pendant and you get a free sandwich. Oh. Which actually would be very valuable in the apocalypse. It really would, though. <gasps> oh, Mike. There we go. He's gone. Everything's fine. Just that last second compensation just messed the whole thing up. Alright. Where are we at? Where are we at? Who's who? Does she have hearing powers too? She sure does. Sweet. She gets that from her surrogate father figure. You came out of nowhere, sir. Hell yeah, kid. God, it's that jump into it. And then, like, the Ch like it's the yeah. Assassin's Creed opener and then the Chucky maneuver that yeah. like, bothers me a lot. <clears throat> there you go. Snack. Did you just call a 12 year old girl a snack? No, I, oh, grabbed, 14, a can, still. I grabbed a can of food. Oh, that makes me hungry for like, like grilled food, like a burger and a hot dog and some fries. Yeah. Cheese sticks or something, you know. This is awfully sus. Yeah, I don't trust. No trust. <sighs> Anyone watching this in chat or in their own time in the comment section, throw me a bunch of game suggestions. I have a PlayStation 4. Keep that in mind. That is what we're working with here. I'm trying to pick the next game, and I'm having a hard time. Because I don't want to jump right into the DLC, because a lot of people have been expressing, like, you know, it's a little hard to watch this, either because of zombies, or it's just really heavy right now, which is yeah. super understandable. So I kind of want to, like, switch things up. You know? Something chill. Like, actually chill on Bill and Chill Gaming. But I also have uh, What Remains of Edith Finch, 
and um, Life is Strange Before the Storm, and uh, Little Nightmares DLC, which I do want to play before the second one comes out, because I'm excited for the second one, even though I'm bummed that it's not co-op. The whole reason why Mike's here was I thought Life, the Little Nightmares 2 was going to be co-op. Yep. So now we just try to give him something to do. He answers fan mail mostly, but I write the fan mail to give him something to do. Yeah. And I know about it too, so it makes things just kind of like... We all lie to ourselves. Yeah. It's fine. Which, well, speaking of, I, I hope I can get to the P.O. Box again soon. It's been really hard to make those trips, but shout out to everyone who sent stuff there. Okay. By no means required to at all, nor do I expect it, but that's been a really nice um, little reminder. It makes it real when I can hold that in my hand, you know what I mean? Okay. As opposed to, like, a YouTube comment. Yeah. But I like the comments, too. They keep me company. Okay, we need to... See, I approached you, and you jumped over the thing, and now you just made it harder for everybody. You just drew it out, sir. Grab the stack. But we have to, like, make sure we check it at safe times and everything. Because, uh, first time I checked it, uh, once all the rules and stuff start taking place, um... Yeah, ran into a lot of problems with the other people in the building, and it's fine. Not employees, other, other uh, clientele. Yo. I see you. I see you. I see you. Maybe that's something we'll do soon after we finish the rewatching the Descendants trilogy. I when was the last time we watched the Lord of the Rings trilogy? Yeah, like a year ago. It wasn't less, after we moved. Yeah, it was like right. Before, it was like around this year, maybe end of last year. End of last year, beginning of this year. I'd be up for that again soon if I can carve out some time. But because I've been a, in a weird like workaholic zone and i'm like you know what if that's my bliss right now i'm gonna follow it because if i can get a bunch of stuff done so i can relax like so be it i'd rather productively relax than get to a point where i'm so overwhelmed trying to catch up you know yeah Well, that was exciting. Yeah. A little break from that action. I I kind of wish we had a little more of that, like, hunting, tracking kind of stuff. Mm. It's, um... Maybe that's the, the kind of energy that they're going for, but it's, uh... It's really not fun to watch Ellie kill people. Uh... You know? Yeah. But I think that's kind of the idea. Is it's mm -hmm. like, do the exact same thing you did as Joel, but now as an actual, t like, early teenager. Like, yeah. it's a little jarring. So, yeah, she was just trying to lose them. Now she's here. Is the goal to get away from them or to kill all of them? It's, yeah, to get away from them. We're not trying to, we're not going full rampage. This isn't the genocide run? No. Or No Mercy, I guess, is what people try to call the Undertale run now. Uh, No Mercy? Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, I get it. It's a pretty 
it's a pretty graphic word. I'm sorry, you don't get to just turn around and start just, punching after getting shot in the back. You just back. got a shotgun blast to your back. How are you still walking? I would be out. I'd be like, That dude ran. Look at him. I would be like, honestly, I don't like these people. They are so weird. <laughs> they they told me to. I'm not, I'm not, you know. I just got here Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> they said it was this or latrine duty. I didn't think I'm I'm just gonna go I used to manage a Barnes and Noble outlet at an airport. I'm not one of them Why do I keep upsetting myself? Oh, did you get too aware of the sneeze and so it's not gonna happen? Yeah, it, didn't happen. it got so close though. Yeah, I hate that feeling That guy probably got to sneeze. He's not sneezing anymore. <laughs> no. Lucky. Actually, no. I, I enjoy a clean, solid sneeze. Wow, Mike. Don't forget to like and subscribe, everybody. <laughs> Feels good. All right. Ah. What's in here? What's in your wallet? It really does make me grateful for what we do still have access to, because obviously we're not in an apocalypse. It's just a very difficult mm -hmm. and intense, terrible time. Yeah. But it's it's weird playing this game because every time I sit here and like just now I'm like, oh man, I miss Barnes and Noble and malls and stores. And I'm like, you know what, Bill? Like you could also be walking through dilapidated buildings. Yeah. And, you know, it's like it's a weird like. You know, check yourself, but also your feelings are valid. Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. Cause I don't know. I've never been a fan of the people who were like, "You're having a bad time because uh, you have a bad attitude." That's bullshit, in my opinion. Uh. But like, you can be grateful that things aren't worse and still wish that things were better. You know, and I think there's a good balance. Having a good balance in those two are important. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, that, again, that guy took two close-up hits. Something's Adrenaline, wrong. I'd say. Uh, probably. You in know, an that's, instance like that. That's valid. Dude who just got, like, shot with a buckshot and then turned around and started swinging. That's yeah. nonsense. Oh, is it on? Keeping you alive here. I don't trust you. Ellie, no! Oh, I'm gonna... F it's time... We're gonna f*** this dude up. Oh, no, did he find Joel? Or are we in their cage? Yeah, we're in their cage. Joke's on you, dude. You're in here with me. Oh, God. Are they eating people? No. Mike, are they eating people? What? Are they eating people? How are you feeling? Like I'm about to get eaten. Super. Here. You should eat. Don't eat it. I know you're hungry. You've been out for quite some time. What is it? It's deer. Is some human helping on the side? No. No, I, I promise. It's just the deer meat. No. Fucking animal. Ellie, Not please. Oh, judgment. God. Considering you and your friend killed how many men? They didn't give us a choice. 
And you think we have a choice? Is that it? Yeah, not to shoot a one person and a child. You kill to survive. And so do we. We have to take care of our own, by any means necessary. So now what? You gonna chop me up into tiny pieces? <laughs> I'd rather not. Please tell me your name. You're so full of shit. Why does he want to know her name? On the contrary. I've been, uh... Quite honest with you. Now I think it's your turn. It's the only way I'm going to be able to convince the others. Convince them of what? That you can come around. You have heart. You're loyal. And you're special. Um. Oh. Don't. Don't. No. Bad touch. I don't like this. Oh, Ellie, you badass. I'm sorry for even hesitating to doubt you. Oh, no, bro. All right, time to fucking kill the cannibal. You stupid little girl. You are making it very difficult to keep you alive. What am I supposed to tell the others now? Ellie. What? Tell them that Ellie is the little girl who broke your fucking finger. Go off, queen. <laughs> Fuck yeah. How did you put it? Hmm? Tiny pieces. See you in the morning, Ellie. We're going to play a zombie Joel, aren't we? He's going to save her from a bunch of cannibals with, with a hole in his chest. Ellie? He's got that Prometheus scar. <laughs> Don't you dare. <laughs> Oh, do you just... She didn't even take your shiv or your axe. No. She just left you with all your equipment. That's nice that she respects yeah. the boundaries of, of belongings. Go save that kid. We're on our way. Oh, are you going to be moving gingerly for the rest of this? Yeah, for like a little bit. You know, till we find him a protein shake. Or one of those... uh. IV bars. Oh. You ever hear of those? Uh, they were slowly yeah. becoming a thing, mostly on California was where I saw them, like West Coast. Okay. But it's like an IV bar, so it's like, um, their biggest selling point was like, oh, it'll like cure your hangover, which I'm mm. sure it does, but like, it's different IV drips that you would get like recreationally yeah. to give your body missing nutrients and things yeah i've seen the there's a whole catalog so i'm sure there's a whole science to it that i don't know or understand but i know it as the uh, hangover cure yeah there's a i remember really? being in uh las vegas there was a gift shop and they had the, there was like a whole row of like those like five hour energy size bottles no i'm saying like it's an, a needle into your arm macaroni in the pot and then a bag and you yeah. sit there for like an hour or so and yeah. it, like it's an IV drip oh uh, but like not in a ho like what you would get in a hospital but not in a hospital gotcha hmm that's what I was picturing Bar. oh gotcha like he's gonna take one of those bags rip it open with his teeth and drink it and suddenly he can walk like yeah. more with more energy that's not how medicine works Bill but oh I just have a bachelor's in fine who? arts who got me where are you let me heal myself. You ever wonder if uh, we're the ones being punished? Right? I'll always find it amusing that, um, it was like before or like just after Logan came out, people like took a screenshot of 
Hugh Jackman and the little girl, and they were like, look, th- this director would be perfect for, for doing the, a Last of Us movie. And his response was like, I don't know what that is, but it looks like I already made it. Yeah. <laughs> so far, that's what it feels like. It's, it's like, James Mangold, are you going to do a Last of Us movie? He's like, no, I'm good. <laughs> Oh, come on. Logan was a good movie. It just, it's it's one of those things where it's like, it's kind of hard to watch. Right, yeah. Like it's, in a sense, like, it, it just, it gets really mm-hmm. heavy, and then it also has that uh, Tony Stark kind of impact to it, where it's like, I've seen you play this character since I was a wee lad, except in X-Men's case, right. even smaller. Even, yeah, younger. Good like, God. Like, my, I think it was X2, my dad, like, literally pulled me out of school, and my parents got in a fight about it. But also, my stepdad um, pulled me out of school to see The Matrix Reloaded. Well, there you go, yeah. <laughs> Every once in a while, it was, uh, like, any sort of, like, big blockbustery thing, um, I would see it with my parents. But it was, like, ones that had, like, a big impact, like uh, X-Men, uh, Star Wars, um, Matrix Reloaded. But I think that was because uh, my stepdad's work was, like letting people go see it like downtown for free so he's like i'm taking the kids right pulled us out of school but uh yeah my my family's really big into uh like sci-fi movies and stuff so like you know like it was like a a conversation who got to take me to see star wars oh my god I mean, yeah, do what you gotta do to survive, but that's... You kicked him in the nuts. <laughs> but also, knowing what I know, that's... Mm-hmm. Oh, he's gonna... Oh, no. Ugh. You wait here. Now, the girl, is she alive? What girl? I don't know no girl. <laughs> Holy sh- Focus, right here, right here. I'll pop your goddamn knee off. The girl. She's alive. She's safe. It's no one's back. Ew, ew. Where? Now you're gonna mark it on the map, and it better be the same exact spot your buddy points to. Mark it. It's right there. You can verify it. Go ask him. Go on. I tell you, I ain't lying. I ain't. <laughs> Dude, sad dad's pissed. Fuck you, man. I told you what you wanted. I ain't telling you shit. That's all right. I believe it. No, wait. Wakey, wakey. Like, that that was a lot. But, I mean, as a protective older brother, I, I get it. Yeah. I warned you. I'm infected! I'm infected! Really? And so are you. Right there. Roll up my sleeve. Look at it! I'll play along. <laughs> What'd you say? Everything happens for a reason, right? Oh, I love it. What the hell is that? She would have turned by now. It can't be real. Looks pretty fucking real to me. <laughs> hell yeah, kid. Oh, she got her knife back. Yeah. Wee. Out into the unknown. Yeah. Pretty much, though. 
Have you seen Frozen 2 yet? Yeah, we watched it. Oh, we did? Yeah. God, I had to block that out. That was a horrible, great movie, horrible timing. I had yeah. just gotten back from literally holding my grandpa's hand while he died, and I was the one who had to tell him to let go. It was very traumatic. Yeah. And I get, I get back home from California. I'm like, I just want to go see a cartoon. Let's go see Frozen 2. That sounds like fun. And then I wept from the onward trailer through the credits. Oh, God, yeah. Like, Alana, like, I was almost, like, limping. Like, Alana had to, like, half kind of carry me. She went with me. Yeah. Um, Because we agreed I shouldn't be left alone for a while. Um, uh, She had to, like, basically, like, drunk carry me home. It was nuts. Like, that arm over the shoulder. Mm -hmm. I was just, like, weeping, and I just couldn't stop. I can't believe that worked. And that's not Frozen 2's fault. <laughs> no, it's not Frozen 2's fault. It's a decent movie. Like it was fine. Yeah. I think, I think it 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 had a big ask, which was, mm -hmm. hey, you created a phenomenon by accident. Yeah. How do you top that? And they're like, oh, we'll double down on the lore, and then it just it raised a lot of questions. But I feel like it dealt with some stuff pretty well. Yeah. You know, I just. There were some parts of it where I, I kind of... I haven't seen it in a long time. Yeah. And by a long time, I mean a year. But... Whenever it dropped on Disney+, Plus, that's when I saw it. I, I would need to watch it again if I'm ever okay with that experience again. Because, like, there's some funny jokes and stuff. Like, I liked the um, 80s power ballad moment yeah. that Jonathan Groff got. Yeah. I like Into the Unknown. Shout out to Aurora, who played the wind. I love her, and I love her as that role. I thought it was very... Uh, fitting, and I appreciated getting to enjoy that since I know her work mm -hmm. from trying to stand. But I, I remember kind of walking away from it, and I'm like, I felt like it had a lot of legwork to do for the lore, and it left me in this weird spot. It was the ending with the like charades of, you know, now you're gonna be in charge, and you're gonna be over here being the not avatar. Like it was very bizarre to me, mm -hmm. but I didn't hate it. No, I just. I think I've just come to the conclusion that, like, just Frozen, that universe, like, it's just not my thing. I understand why people like it. It's just not well, I think it does, like, a lot of good stuff, especially yeah. the first one. There was something about, because there was, like, a brief renaissance of it. They've done it a couple times in other movies. But Maleficent did it, and Frozen did it, where it was, like, the true love's kiss can be... Huh? I'm in a bad spot right now. Oh, I'm sorry. This is as far to the wall as I can get. <laughs> like, my arm is peeking out. Anyway... Um, the message of, like, a true love kiss that saves you from the spell can also be, um, from a, like, a, so, like, a sisters love each other, uh, yeah. a friend or a surrogate, like, parental figure, you know what I mean? It doesn't yeah. always have to be a romantic thing. Oh, God. God damn. Sorry, it's brutal to watch. Ooh, I like that the snow built up on it, too. That was kind of cool. Then I realized that that means that Ellie's gonna freeze to death. Yeah. As well as bleed to death. But now I. You're a younger brother, so I don't know if you'll really understand the sentiment directly. Yeah. I mean, I yeah, I, I get it. I just. No, I mean like directly. You know what I mean? Like I don't, I don't think. No, my brother. Uh, <laughs> my brother was the. <laughs> you one... were the one getting bullied. My brother. Which, to be was, fair, uh... I bullied my little sister too. Yeah. I wasn't. I wasn't this perfect young young adult novel yeah. you know protective brother i was i was shitty too at times yeah no for a while there i was being bullied for his social gain yeah i mean that's not okay but like yeah. uh, like we were talking earlier yeah, with it's, milk it's like you it's, don't you yeah. you still like figuring stuff yeah out. I mean, we're, we're good now it's just yeah i knew what was up i was just waiting for him to figure it out and then when he did i was like hey yeah <laughs> I remember sometimes it would be a little awkward hanging out with both of you guys. Well, we all knew each other in high school. and Yeah. I'm glad you guys get that stuff sorted out. Yeah. Nope, 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 nope. But yeah, I'm, I'm very protective of... <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> it looks like he's being so dramatic until I remember the snow, because I don't really feel the wind right there, because the snow yeah. looks so light. <laughs> oh, like he just really wanted to go take it's a break and have some cocoa. Outside. I didn't bring my. Oh God, no! All of it, like the snow, just doesn't look that aggressive. 
from the flakes, right? Yeah. It doesn't it doesn't look windy. So it looks like they're all like hamming it up so they can go have some cocoa and take a break. Good it's God. been fifteen minutes, I get a fifteen minute break. That's it's the cannibal union. They're cannibals. Cannibals. Um I don't think that kid's ever been to medical school. <laughs> it's so, so good. <laughs> um but no, I'm I'm a very protective like person when it comes to that stuff like it's not in a controlling way but like someone's like talking shit or threatening people in general but like you know especially like the people in my life like that just like how i get very sad emotional i will also uh i will try to use words and reason first but that shit will end like yeah. Especially when I was a kid, man. Like, I would get in fist fights all the time with people. And yeah, the only person I ever... <laughs> the, only, the only people that I would ever punch over something stupid were, like, me and my siblings fighting over something stupid, you know? Yeah, as you do as siblings. Or my cousin. My cousin and I would, like... We, we like, beat each other up over, like, Pokemon stickers once. Mm. But, uh, but no, I just, I don't mess around with that, babies. How did you do it? It's all right? I mean, great skills on her part. He looked away for a second and she got away from that. Oh, so he's challenging us to a duel. Oh, no, 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 no. So what is it, Emmett? Where are you going, sir? Oh, it's the guy. Yeah. Okay. I need to get away from these plates. Oh, I was like, what are you doing that's getting you in trouble so much? Plates. There you are, Ellie. I see you. Uh oh. So dumb. Oh, God. That a girl. You know, I really wish you hadn't killed Jay. He's a good kid. He's just doing his job, like all those people you killed. Just gonna make our group stronger. You a mouse. Well, I'm glad you have such a positive outlook on loss. Ooh, do you get the machete? Yeah, you sneak up on him. That was good, kid. It's gonna be alright. Man. He's got the machete. It's time to do Oh god. Shame. No, you don't. Why would stabbing him in the neck make him faster and stronger? I think it's just there. Well he's also well fed and nourished. Yeah. That's not true. Don't eat people, it's bad. Just in case I need to say that. Yeah. Fuck yourself. Where are you going? Where are you going? Okay, then. You're Let's gonna see, turn. Gonna the important thing for you to do is turn. You did not turn. That's okay. Oh, you meant navigation. I think you meant into a zombie. I'm like, yeah? Better than us. You're on place. That's why I don't want to move. Ah, Until now. <laughs> Blammo. Oh, you stabbed him in the ass. Now, this next phase of him sucks. This is a cool boss fight. I, I like love that it's this like, boss fight. I yeah. like that it's like a stealth boss fight, and you like have a direct like you have to do this. It's not one of those. Mm -hmm. Oh no, it's cooler if I don't draw the gun. You know what I mean? Like, oh, hundred percent. Yeah. That is really cool. This is when he stops talking and like, I mean, I got eye of sight on him right now, but he's like currently like hiding. Oh, now he's in stealth mode. Mm -hmm. That's unnerving. Yeah, it's not great. Okay. I'm trying to make a move. 
is Joel going to pick me up soon? Son of a bitch. Whoops. Nope. I, as cool as the plates element is, it is really annoying that it's, like, all these walkways. It's, like, all of it, yeah. You have to go a specific route to get him. Like, I'd, I'd believe it a little more if, like, he started throwing them to try to get you to, like, scatter. And then it's, like, oh, if you step on him, you're screwed. Yeah. The fact that they're strategically, like... Like, um, like Dead Rising, you know? Sometimes, like, they would in interact with the environment and yeah. they would get in your way. Something like that. But this is still super cool. I, I like this, this mechanic. This is a great boss fight. It's also, I think, really smart to do this, like, with this cannibal creepy and then, like, having the pet line and the Joel torture moment. It's like, you really want this dude dead. So it's like, and it's scary. So you also just want to get this over with. So I think it kind of, like, makes you a little trigger itchy in a right. sense. Just text him and have his phone go off. Where'd you go? Uh. There he is. That was spooky. Yeah. We are now running in a giant circle around the kitchen, sir. <laughs> so wait for the soup for table 14. Here's the ticket. They say that there's a rubber band in it, but I think they brought it. I literally thought he was facing you. I was about to scream. Like, it was an, a... Oh, dude. That's not cool. My whole body seized. Oh, like, my chest feels tight. All right. Anyway, back to Silent Hill. Mm-hmm. Can, can everyone like Silent Hill so I can play that everyone instead? I really want to play Silent Hill. Everybody does. They just don't want to talk about it? If you know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know. Because I, I played part of, I think, the first one. Yeah. I would happily be involved in a playthrough of that one. Because I've got... I've got all four of them, actually, in one form or another. Really? Mm-hmm. I've got the first one on the PlayStation 3. I've got two and three on the PS2. Your man, then. And then I can get the, I have the, the fourth one on my PC. It's a weird flex, but okay. What about Homecoming? No. We don't talk about her. Yeah. I. I love the artwork that's come from Silent Hill, the aesthetic. I like playing the first one, but I hate tank controls. And like as a kid, it just it frustrated me so much that like it stopped being scary. And so I've been like, I I think I picked up, I picked up one of them when it was like a remaster, and I played it and enjoyed it. But I also didn't finish that because I was in I was in college, and then I think I. I think I, something happened to the, the box uh, of the disc. Uh, uh. Did I give it to you? Uh, no. Okay. Maybe I gave it to somebody. Who? Where? When? I can't remember. No, I'm talking about I know about I was. <laughs> um, but I've always wanted to play that series. First three are fantastic games. Is the fourth one not good? The fourth one, it's... It's kind of a long story with that one. It's. I know there's a whole sticky story there because we talked about it a little bit when uh, we did PT on my main channel. Yeah, it's basically over a year ago. There was a an A unit and a B unit. The B unit essentially was making a different like horror game, and then they said make it make, a silent hill. Make it a silent hill. Oh. I'm not blaming Silent Hill on that one. That one was me. <laughs> I only blame you, so. And that's exactly where I needed to go to, which is more frustrating anyways. But I love, because I, um, the first year I did Halloween Horror Nights, like, full on instead of as a standby swing, um, was the year they did the Silent Hill maze. Mm -hmm. It was incredible. It was so scary. But, like, I loved all the details and seeing everyone in costume, like, in employee areas and stuff. It was so cool. Yeah. 
Like I love the I love what's come from the Silent Hill franchise. 100%. So it makes me want to like play all the games. But like I've just been waiting for them to do like a, like a overhaul like they did for Resident Evil 2 cuz like the tank controls like good god, I'm so bad at that. I was the same way with Resident Evil 1. I want to play the spooky thing, but I can't move. There we go. Which I'm surprised they did two, three, and four, but they haven't like done a makeover for one. They they have done a remake of one for the. No, but I'm saying like the make make mine Resident Evil Four mm. format. Yeah. Because I've, I've played the DS one in the GameCube. Yeah, it was originally yeah. the GameCube remake. Yeah, well, it also, they did one for the DS that I had as well. But that one was basically, it was almost like a port. Yeah, I think that one was a port for sure. Gotcha. But I think the GameCube one, it handled a little better, but I think it still had fixed camera. Yeah. It's fixed camera. They gave you the option to do tank controls or like direction based where you point the analog to the player that just runs in that direction. Mm -hmm. Need to be out of the world then. No. No. Here, let me back up a little bit more. I'd love to play more of those games. There we go. Because yeah, Silent Hill doesn't like, it's kind of fixed camera, but the camera does go behind the character's back. No, I know. It's just, it's still, like, there's, like, moments where it's, like, fixed. Like, uh, Pyramid Head, mm. one of those moments. I remember yeah. he would just kill me mercilessly all the time because I couldn't get out of the room fast enough. Oh, you... But I'm also gotcha. a smooth brain soft boy, so... I'd really love to check those games out. So. Now's the part. Where we figure out where Joel's got to go. I never even kind of put that together where this does kind of like reminisce yeah. of you really never oh really never yeah oh dude <laughs> I never like it's it's fog it's yeah. like fog and smoke as opposed yeah. to snow but it really does like you're just a dude you looking for a loved one yeah I wonder if that was intentional it might have been well there was also one of the Silent Hill games it is like winter based isn't it oh her backpack oh we're picking her up from evil school stuff here jesus christ yeah i gotta find her yeah all right joe come on were those like were those parts that don't show it to me were i thought you parts, were like what were the <laughs> were those parts i had to censor or was that like i believe Holy shit. i was censor. No, I'll censor it. Yeah, I'll censor it, yeah. Ellie, recover from your knife fight. I'll take you to Chuck E. Cheese. You remember those clean your room and I'll take you to Chuck E. Cheese commercials? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, now she's super injured. I hate this. Can't everyone just be okay? It's the apocalypse. Yeah, they can, like, build their own house in the wilderness. Oh, God. I knew you had heart. You know, it's okay to give up. Ain't no shame in it. not your style, is it? Oh, does he not see the knife? No. Which is weird, because it's just glowing right Trap underneath thing. the thing. <laughs> you think you know me? Huh? Let me 
I know more than I need to know. Hell yeah. Jeez. Oh, God. It's okay. It's okay. Sad dad's here. Oh, it's okay. Jesus. God damn. Mm. It's also the first time he called her baby girl. Oh, I did not catch that. <laughs> I thought, uh, wow. <laughs> Whatever, man, I can't read the subtitles from here. I'm <laughs> Oh, I, I, yay, the spring. Oh, like I have like, you know when like you get like a tear built up in your eye and it stays there and it's salty in your eye? Mm -hmm. Oh, we're taking you to the zoo. <laughs> Ellie. Ellie. Did you hear me? No. What? Look, hospital. This is where we get off. Let's go, kiddo. Kiddo. You feel that breeze, huh? I tell you, on a day like this, I just sit on my porch, pick away my six string. Yeah, you know, once we're done with this whole thing, I can teach you how to play guitar. Yay! Music <laughs> lessons! <laughs> what do you say, huh? Ellie, I'm talking to you. Huh? Mm. Oh. Yeah, sure, that sounds great. My little sister's recovering from uh, oral surgery, so I haven't oh. been able to call her in a while, and it's making me really sad. Oh, here's the thing. Mm -hmm. Remember season two of The Walking Dead? Really? And yeah. we're just doing that? Yep. <laughs> like, that's not even like, oh, this kind of looks like this is straight up, like... <laughs> Family photograph. Is that supposed to be... Jesus. Okay, well, this is fun. It's always fun. In Philadelphia. Hey. I haven't watched that show in a long time. Uh, I dreamt about flying the other night. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Go on, tell me about it. So, I'm on this big plane full of people, and everyone is screaming and yelling because the plane's going down. So I walk to the cockpit, open the door, and there's no pilot. I try to use the controls, but I obviously have no clue how to fly a plane. And right before we crash, I wake up. I've never been on a plane. Isn't that weird? Well, you know, dreams are weird. Oh, yeah, no, she's... The cure's not gonna happen. That's what that dreamt. That's what that dreamt. That's what that dream meant to me. Uh. Yeah, Stephen King ending would be like Joel dying and then she like walks for another hour, gets to the Look facility and it's destroyed. Another, another abandoned quarantine zone. Or they get there and there's like nothing there, and then some other cannibal psycho just kills them. There's that hospital the Firefly mentioned. Come on, kiddo. I know that doesn't happen because there's a part two. <laughs> I still can't believe that came out this year. Yep, June. In June. It wasn't even like a January drop or some biz. Like it was. It was supposed to come out earlier. I remember that was yeah. that was your cyberpunk before cyberpunk. Yeah. Ooh. That was really hard to watch. Yeah. It's not always a nothing, nothing about this has been fun or nice. Mm -hmm. And she just walked right through you. She's she went she's going ghost. Mm-hmm. Maybe we cut oh, through no, here, huh? Been spoilers. 
<laughs> she also has, the reason why she's immune is because she has superpowers. Nah, uh, Joel is actually uh, Bruce Willis and uh... Six Sense. <laughs> yeah. You know, I think we're hitting a point now where you're actually spoiling that movie for people again. Am I? Yeah, I think we've left the age where oh well, everyone's seen it by now. Now it's that's become valid. such a relic that maybe yeah, people haven't. That's valid. So um, you know, leave. <laughs> Get out. Or, you know, now you know my life. I grew up with that being just a spoiler for me. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. See, my mom's the same way about, like, suspense thrillers, but my dad was really bad about, like, oh. waiting till I'm old enough for any movie. Oh, this is big. Yep. Everything all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, you just kind of seem extra quiet today. It's okay to talk about it, Chan. Oh, sorry. No, it's not... It's fine. You don't have to talk about it if you don't want to, but please know that you can if you if you want to. You know, this is a safe place. Well, we could use that ladder. Oh sh! Go talk to her. I did. I, I did it reverse. All right. Oh, it didn't give you another chance to talk to her. Wait, we're doing it. Oh, got it. Ellie. What? The ladder. Yeah. Right there. Kid, oh my god, what? Ellie! Ellie! You gotta see this. What is it? What? Was that a giraffe? Oh my god! Oh good, something, oh no, something fun. <laughs> <laughs> the giraffe just starts slamming its head into you. <laughs> Eats your guns and takes Ellie's backpack. You see that? That's awesome. Go pet the giraffe. That's awesome. We really did take her to the zoo. Oh, we took her to the zoo. <laughs> okay, now it turns out I can talk. Where's it off to? Here, come on, let's go. Say, slow down, kiddo. That's that was really cool. Okay, it's been forty five seconds. Where's the bad part? This game gave me more trust issues. <laughs> Loved that image. Okay. Is everything you were hoping for? It's got its ups and downs, but you can't deny the view, though. <sighs> That's so neat. I want that as like a painting. That looks gorgeous. Mm -hmm. 
So did he intentionally take her to the zoo? Uh, no, because, uh, yeah, that is where we need to go. Okay. Yeah. Because that's, that's not the zoo. That's like a baseball diamond. Yeah, no. Yeah, okay. No. no. That's still awesome. What's the bad thing? <laughs> it's up to you if you want to keep going for a little bit or you want to um let's just go ahead and end it here for now um uh, as you guys know mental health is a a big thing for me as well as with my content and i wanted to make sure that we had a big old uh sizable finale for uh the evening of thursday which for those of us in the states is thanksgiving uh it is not to ignore or celebrate the genocide of a group of people (laughs) it is Um, because the holidays are a hard time for myself as well as I'm sure others, especially this particular one. So I wanted to, uh, just make sure I had some content ready, uh, here for a premiere chat on, uh, Thursday, as well as extra content over, uh, the weekend, just in case somebody needs the distraction as well as to help advocate for people staying at home. Uh, thank you so much again for watching guys. Thank you again for a thousand subscribers. That's absolutely incredible. And I appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, thanks to everyone who's checking us out in the premiere chat as well as watching the videos in your own time. Thank you for every click, every watch, every like, every sub. Um, like I said, I need more ideas because I just kind of want to take a little uh, bit of a bit of a stressful story break um, in the coming weeks. So yeah, be sure to let me know. And uh, yeah, no pressure if you don't want to make it to the uh, premiere on on Thursday. It's just there in case somebody needs it and uh, definitely will help uh, me kind of stay preoccupied um, as I deal with, you know, my own stressors as well as the universal ones. Um, But yeah, don't forget, as always, guys, there are links in the description for education and resources on Black Lives Matter, as well as the Trevor Project and mental health resources should you or someone you know need them. Thank you again, guys, so much. Remember to take care of yourselves, please.